Welcome to Art History with Jackie. This month, we will be looking at the history of different artistic mediums. In this first video, we'll be talking about the history of pottery. Don't forget to join Carrie Holmes today at Art on the Deck for her demonstration and workshop. Pottery is the process of forming vessels and other objects with clay and ceramic materials, which are fired at high temperatures to give them a hard, durable form. Pottery is one of the oldest human inventions, originating before the Neolithic period, with ceramic objects dating back to 29,000 BC. Clay-based pottery can be divided into several major types, including earthenware, stoneware, and porcelain. The earliest forms of pottery were made from clay fired at low temperatures, in pit fires, or in open bonfires. They were hand-formed and under-decorated. Unglazed bisque earthenware is porous, which means it has limited utility for storage of liquids. Bisque, or biscuit, refers to pottery that has been fired but not glazed. The development of ceramic glaze made impermeable pottery possible, which improved the popularity of pottery vessels. The addition of decoration has evolved throughout its history. Stoneware is pottery that has been fired in a kiln at a relatively high temperature, from about 1,100 to 1,200 degrees Celsius. It is stronger and non-porous to liquids. The Chinese developed stoneware early on, while stoneware could only be produced in Europe from the late Middle Ages, as European kilns were less efficient. Stoneware is tough and practical. Porcelain is made by heating materials, generally including kaolin, in a kiln to temperatures between 1,200 and 1,400 degrees Celsius. Because of the higher temperatures needed for porcelain, the achievement of creating it was a struggle for a long time. Porcelain was first made in China and is characterized by a degree of translucency and whiteness that was achieved by the Tang Dynasty. When looking at the history of pottery, one has to look back to preliterate culture. Because pottery is so durable, shards of pottery survive from millennia and are typically the most common type of artifact to survive. Early methods of forming pottery were hand shaping, pinching, and coiling, while the wheel came into play several years later. The earliest pottery has been found from as long as 18,000 years ago in China. Chinese porcelain became a significant Chinese export from the Tang Dynasty onwards. The earliest history of pottery production in the Fertile Crescent starts the Pottery Neolithic period. By about 5000 BC, pottery making was becoming widespread across the region. The invention of the potter's wheel in Mesopotamia sometime between 6000 and 4000 BC revolutionized pottery production. Production was now carried out by small groups of potters for small cities rather than individuals for their families. Pottery became more elaborate and varied. Glazing was commonly used and pottery was more decorated. Europeans began working in pottery circa 5500 to 4500 BC. Elaborately painted earthenware reached high levels of artistic achievement in the Greek world, many of which survive today. Ancient Roman pottery used molded decoration instead of painting, which allowed for industrialized production on a huge scale. The English city of Stoke-on-Trent is widely known as the Potteries because of the large number of pottery factories there. It was one of the first industrial cities of the modern era. Josiah Wedgwood was the dominant leader. Islamic pottery followed the forms of the regions which the Muslims conquered. There was cross-fertilization between the regions, most notable in the Chinese influences on Islamic pottery, seen in color and imported porcelain. Most evidence has pointed to an independent development of pottery in the Native American cultures, with the earliest known dates from Brazil from 9,500 years ago. Mayan ceramics included finely painted vessels with elaborate scenes and texts. Many pottery pieces have been used in several cultures to tell a story. The study of pottery can help to provide an insight into past cultures. Pottery helps tell a story, a story of artists, of resources, of society in general. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy Art on the Deck with Carrie Holmes this afternoon.